This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha, and how you doing? This is Gordo the Texar here with another exciting and thrilling episode of the Hibachi Talk. Got my good old buddy, hey, Gordo. Rick's the Fun how Meister. Doing? How you doing, bud? It's always great to see you. Yeah, yeah we have we have no guests tonight because we are we are or today we are our own guests. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Yeah, we are our own guests <laughs> or pests, depending on how you want it. So grab yourself a chair and you pull up and get a libation. We'll sit here and we'll do a little bit of hibachi talking. When hibachi talks, people listen. But if you want to call in, we're going to do some new things. So we'll start getting the word out. Our um, phone number is 808-374-2014. So 808-374-2014 if you want to call in if you have a question. Great. Or a comment. Could be good, yeah. Or a comment. If you have a guest, you could be our guest. Be kind. Well, you don't have to be kind. Be whatever you want. So our theme today, we have we, we start off with one theme, but now we have two themes. The first theme is the Supreme Court ruling on sports gambling and the impacts in Hawaii. And that could take we we could that could have a great a conversation whole lot of time on this. That. And then but I but this whole thing on this issue of these things called lime bikes, lime dash esh, lime yeah. scooters, um, is really getting a lot of press. And actually, last week I was talking to uh, Huala, Huala Grevy, who was our guest from San Francisco, and he said they're all over the place over there. There you um, go. And, and when you know That'd it, be hard in San Francisco. I mean, well, it'd be great because the line bikes, little motorized. Little electric motor? Yeah. Scoot you around kind everywhere? Scooter, yeah. Yeah. You need that in San Francisco to get up and down those hills, at least to get up. Well, get up, you know. Yeah. So anyway, so there's a, a lot of controversy and discussion going on about the line bike stuff, and we'll talk about that as well. So it's kind of cool, and, and but I was really intrigued, and we've talked about this, you know, as, as we are. Is like so the Supreme Court ruling on sports gambling and how it impacts Hawaii. Yeah, you know, and what's the ninth island called? Lost wages. <laughs> <laughs> right? We yeah, have we have is. Las Vegas. Yeah. How many yeah. of your friends and family go to Las Vegas three or four or more times a year? I would say all my friends and family, family go. Yeah. More your friends than your family probably, but yeah. eh, oh no, your family too, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think could be. So so I'm sitting here going, okay, now we've had this ruling that came down from the Supreme Court that um, um, says uh, Related to sports gambling and the and the other and all the states, yeah. but and again we're not attorneys. This is two guys yeah. <laughs> sitting around talking story about exactly. okay, what does this mean around the hibachi? Yeah, yeah around the, around the hibachi, talking yeah. about what this means. And so, but it, and, and I'm gonna look at my notes because I got to be able to say this this um, correctly. The reason this happened is because of the Professional and Amateur Sports Protection Act, which went into place in 1992. Yeah. So it was, again, to protect um, professional and amateur sports against the gambling and everything that would go right, on on it. Right, and it's, and it's not just the players, if you will, the, the, the people, that, but it's for the organization. Organizations, the systems, well. yes. everything is happening yeah. there. So if you work for a sports team, mm -hmm. a, what, a, a, an amateur or professional sports team, you're covered by that act. Yeah, you're, well, everybody's covered by that yeah. act. And actually what it did, what it well, did yeah, was yeah. it limited the states. So the key word here is it limited the states, um, from a, except for Nevada. Yeah. And um, from, the, from the ability to have sports gambling. Now, I don't know how Nevada got there by. Again, I'm not an attorney. But what happened goes on, way back. Goes way, but what happened on Monday is that the Supreme Court found that that act was illegal. That, in fact, um, it violated the Tenth Amendment. And the Tenth Amendment of the Constitution um, does not allow the federal government to put rules on states. So that act, just that little piece, that little protection act, the wee little said, bit. That little, said you cannot, it's illegal against the Constitution for the federal government to put rules on you that will not allow this to happen. Yeah. So boom. All I've, sudden, got to, I've got to guess that that goes back, really, to the Constitution. That goes back that to the Constitution and the 1992 the, protection, this um, yeah. Professional Amateur Sports Protection Act, which was 1992. Now they found that that is actually um, unconstitutional. Yeah. So, and it was a 7-2 vote. So it was, you know, it was a pretty overwhelming yeah. vote. 
So, okay, now what does that mean for Hawaii? And what does it mean for the citizens and the residents of, of Hawaii? Hawaii? So, so, here's, so does that now make it it's legal to do sports gambling throughout the United States of America? You think that makes it well, legal? And again, I'm not an attorney. But it sounds like it, it makes it legal if the state makes a decision to allow it. Exactly. Now, the next question comes to my mind okay, is... Okay, I can hardly wait to hear it. <laughs> is, if, if it, is it really the state of Hawaii or, or any other state, you know, to make that decision? Or if the state doesn't make that decision, will a city... Or a county, yeah. Or a county be able to make that decision for the city or the county, or on Oahu, the city and county, yeah. uh, to make that decision, and does it require the state to give approval? Yeah. So I guess so. so we got. We so, got uh, yeah. it's, it's kind of a fun um, kind of thing, and we're, yeah. we're not attorneys, so we're sitting here just having this conversation about like, okay, what does that mean? So you know, um, it, it so it's still up to the states. Yeah. So I can, I can tell you right now, there's going to be, I can predict that next year, there'll be a boatload of bills going down <laughs> to the legislation, <laughs> to the legislators on passing some form of gambling, um, uh, sports gambling, yeah. betting kind it of thing to happen. It could be a boatload or it could be a truckload. It could be a truckload. Or it could be both. It could be, who knows. But my, also then, speaking of boatloads and cartloads and whatever, yeah. watch the boatloads and cartloads of money yeah. that comes into the state, not for gambling, to the to from Vegas, the ninth island. Yes, the ninth um, island. Um, to legislators who will vote against it. Yeah. So here's here's the thing, yeah. and, and I'll, let me preface and, this. Yeah. I'm and against that, lottery. That would go. They that would be contributions to our to our uh, legislators. Our legislators are going to get donations, yes. and you're they're gonna you're gonna watch. And, and if I would I would encourage people to watch the donations that come in from Vegas that go to the legislators about them telling to make sure they vote against any bill that would allow the legalization of sports betting in the state of Hawaii. Yeah. I, can, I, will, I will sit here and tell you, I can guarantee the money will flow into every single candidate. It must. It, and and it not will. only to the state of Hawaii, but it's going to go to other states that, you know, go that that have residents who go to Las Vegas, Las Vegas. pretty regularly. regularly. But ours we, Hawaii by far, we are the number one importers of tourism to Las Vegas. Yeah. I mean I don't know how many flights Hawaiian Airlines has per day. A bunch. A bunch per I day believe. in and yeah. out of Hawaii to yeah. Las Vegas. I mean they just go constantly yeah. constantly. And, and we have I mean how many of our residents, do we know that actually moved from Hawaii right. to Las that. Vegas? Yeah, and they go to Las yeah. Vegas for a couple of reasons. One is the Cheaper. taxes. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. way no, less. No yeah. state taxes. Yeah, and the, the tax situation is there. The cost of housing is like Much a quarter yeah. to a third of what it is here. Yeah. Um, their their fixed income pensions go a lot longer. Yes, they right? do. Right, and they're not taxed every time they turn around. Yeah, like they are here. No general excise. No tax, GET. No, yeah, no state tax. Yeah. So so none of that. So let me add the next thing. So th let's see. So, th so th does this mean that the the Supreme Court is um, no? Wait, let me back up. Does this mean I could start a sports gambling website in Hawaii? Now it's ill. Yeah. It, uh, I understand. I cannot Gee, go. Are there any? Well, here? they're online. Not here. Not you yeah. can't. So I can go. Not on, legal. Not legal. I can go online and gamble. But I've been told that if I go online and gamble, while I'm sitting in my home in Hawaii, yeah. that that's illegal. Well, then that's you what I've been told. It. Then you shouldn't do that. Then I shouldn't do that. No. So, and, but if I take of our if I take my computer and yeah. I go to Nevada and sit there and gamble. Well, then it's okay, isn't I it? I guess it's okay. So this gets to be kind of a really confusing thing. I go like, well, wait a minute. So I'm going to throw, I'll, I'll throw something up for a few legislators that watch this show and say, tell you what, could you imagine if we became the Asian hub for sports gambling in the United States? 
So we set up the Asian hub yeah. for sports gambling in the United States. The revenues we would generate would fund our unfunded liabilities as far as for the yeah for the, federal, the state, state because state the state could tax it yeah. and 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 they will tax it. and they will oh, guaranteed okay. yeah. so so but that, that's okay it, that's fine so that would that would hit our unfunded liabilities it yeah, would pay our for unfunded, education our unfunded pension liabilities billions billions of dollars billions would of be dollars. would be over time yeah. wiped off the map yeah education could be yeah yeah education, education maybe for maybe this time by yes. instead of buying more more administrators within the DOE we could get more teachers and there pay them go. more money and, yeah. and more qualified teachers and there you go more qualified like, if if we can pay them and pay them more and money. pay them better and then we'll throw another one what about rail yeah the biggest bugaboo we've got out there yeah the rail the whole rail system Absolutely. so all of those money so, yeah the as billions the, of dollars well, that the rail's going to have to borrow Right, maybe could go maybe away. go away, or and it have been bored with bored would yeah. go away because we became the sports gambling hub of the United States through one of our biggest tourist um, attractions, Asia. Yeah. Yes, there you go. That would be that. I mean, that's one. Now, do you think the people down at the big square building would have the sense to see that? Depending on how many donations they get from the Ninth Island. <laughs> right, coming. So you got this one here, would, you got that one there. I would hope they would. And I would I, hope. And I would hope that. I would hope. Yeah, because the the money that might come from out of state can't really buy them a vote. Now it could make them. Well, it can buy them a vote on a. It could buy them a vote on a bill, on a piece it, of legislation it, that it, would allow true. sports gambling, right, or betting but, in Hawaii. But then. Could it buy them the vote at the ballot box next time around? It, you never know. You never yeah. know because if you have a if you have someone running for office who says that they are pro this, yes. they're pro um, sports gambling, sports betting, pro they like this idea of the revenue stream coming in from from Asia and such, and they're pro that. Do you think there will be monies going into candidates that were on the other side? Where would the where would the Nevada yeah. money go? Would it go to the person that wants sports gambling, or the money that does not want it? It's got to go to the to the legislator who wants sports gambling. But you, that no, raises, it won't. Oh, there, oh well, no, who no, no, who no. wants sports gambling? I'm sorry, let me rephrase yeah. that. Who wants sports gambling to stay in Nevada? In Nevada. Yes. Yes. Not but, bring it here. So what the the key here then is that. What's got to be reported to the residents of Hawaii in in the paper, but well reported of how much money came to a legislator from outside right. the state. And that's reported. Yeah, but it's got to now be really uh, documented and why, why, why did, how much was that, and where, what state did that come, come from? Come from, yeah, and so I, and I would, you know, I, I'd like to see the star advertiser or someone like that, or even us yeah. if I did, if decide to sit down and do this, and do a report every month of donations from Nevada to legislators who are anti-sports right. betting in Hawaii. Now, yeah. let me, let me add that, you know, I am totally, one of the things that Hawaii has done that I'm appreciative of, I don't like lotteries. I think lotteries take from yeah. the, they give false hope, they take money from the poor who already don't have enough money, right. and the money that, could, money that could hopefully feed the kids and not buy cigarettes or drugs, but you know, that, that takes that, that, that away. So I'm, Utah doesn't have a lottery and Hawaii doesn't have a lottery. I, you know, I, and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay yeah. with that. Now, how I, I don't need a lottery. I don't need a lottery. But how do I feel about sports gambling and sports betting? Well, it happens already. Yes. I mean, and it's, it's legalizing it's something illegal. that and happens already. I read yeah. an article that said... That and has gone back for years and years. 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 Um, I have read that an article a number of years ago, or a few years ago, that said that the underground sports betting industry in, in Hawaii is, could be as close to a billion dollars a year. I mean, yeah. that's a lot of money, and that's, that's the underground piece of it. Yeah. So the good news is if something like this happened, it would eliminate or at least minimize, in what I think, the underground portion, the illegal yeah. portion that's going on. And even if it stayed, I, I think the key is it may not eliminate it, 
but it, it might reduce it, but what it will create is a new taxable revenue. Now, exactly. Okay, hold that. Hold that. Okay. We, we got a break. We got a break. So, but hold that. New taxable revenue. So, anyway, Rick's and I are having fun over this conversation. We've been <laughs> having fun over this for a couple hours. Um, but you know, Rick's the fun meister. Gordon of the tech star here. We're talking about the Supreme Court ruling on sports gambling and impacts in Hawaii. And then we're, we're going to pick it up in the second half. And then we're going to talk about line bikes, which is also <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Anyway, we'll be back in a minute after we pay some bills. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. When I come back, I'll give the phone number again. So. Boy, that went fast. I like how we get into it. Oh, wait, what about this? <laughs> the pitch. Hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Hello, I'm Yukari Kunitsue. I'm your host of the new Japanese language show on Think Tech Hawaii called Konnichiwa Hawaii. Broadcasting live every other Monday at 2 p.m. Please join us where we discuss important and useful information for the Japanese language community in Hawaii. The show will be all in Japanese. Hope you can join us every other Monday at 2 p.m. Hey, aloha, and how you doing? Gordon the Texar here. We're good old buddy Rick's the Fun Meister. We spent the first half of the show yeah, talking yeah. about. What did I say something wrong? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I was going to say afternoon, but you know, people may be hearing it. Did I evening, say evening? Morning? Oh, no, morning, whatever. I, that's what we're Well, you know, I get up so early, it's evening now. Yeah. Well, it's evening in Canada. <laughs> there you go. Speaking of which, anyway, if you want to um, call us and ask some questions, and I'm gonna, we're start, going to start sending yeah. this out now. Even in Canada. Even in Canada. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, on your call. mobile phone, it's free. 808-374-2014. 808-374-2014. Call us if you have any questions. We will screen the call. As some of my friends want to call give me a hard time. <laughs> anyway, so we were talking about uh, sports gambling in Hawaii and the Supreme Court ruling that um, now enables it um, up to the states to decide what they're going to do. Um, so one of the questions that was asked, does this really mean that the Supreme Court now supports gambling in all the states? And that's probably a reach, don't you think? I, 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 I think it's a I think that's a, probably a reach. We'll go back to the original point was the fact that this is an, uh, um, the uh, professional and amateur um, Sports Protection Act, which was deemed as unconstitutional because uh, it violated um, uh, the, the 10th, 10th Amendment, Amendment yeah. um, which is uh, a commandeering clause that, that allows the government to commandeer and tell states what to do. Yeah. So, as so there are other pieces, I mean, uh, probably a along that, but they're probably not making a judgment about sports uh, betting, yeah. it's really about states' rights. I think you're right. And the other, I mean, the other thing that we see in the, you know, in the news often now is, what is it, sanctuary states. Okay, there you go. The same, same sort of 10th Amendment right. Right. And I don't think that the, this, this would just, just be my sense. Uh, just kind of a conversation, where I'm jumping, right? Yeah, where I'm jumping to is this is a state's right issue. Mm -hmm. It's not a uh, either a sanctuary state or even a, a gambling issue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a state's tenth, rights issue. It's the 10th. It's, yeah. it's that commandeering clause that yeah. the federal government, thank goodness, for a number of reasons, is not allowed to commandeer a state and tell them what they must do. Right. But, you know, for the viewers' purposes, I'd like you all to start thinking about well, what would that mean? Um, and there are things that can happen um, to, to allow the federal government to tell a state what they can and cannot do. Yeah. I mean, that, the that's a whole different of war issue. Yeah. And all those kinds of things. That's You've got a, all the other stuff yeah. that's going on. Yeah. But there's, there's all that, those kinds of things. So anyway, yeah. that's, our, that's our commentary and our thought on, the, um, on what's just happening here. Right. My last comment on this is before we jump into line bikes is um, follow the money. I'm yeah. telling everybody right now to follow the money. When yeah. the bills start coming out next year and you want to pay our bills right. with the potential of um, 
eroding money that's going to Nevada, watch where the donation money comes, yeah. and then watch where the legislators vote. Follow the And I'm putting all the legislators money. on notice. Right. We're going to be watching. Right. We're going to be watching. And, and the real question is, is how are people going to try to make it look like Hawaii generated money as opposed to money that's truly generated from an external state. Right, from an external state, right. Because we, we don't get a GET back for every dollar we spend in Nevada. No. We get nothing. Yeah. We get GET on the airline flight. To and from. To and from. Once that's done, or a tour package, Yeah. That, if that happens. But once they're there, and they drop 10000 or whatever dollars it is, that $10,000 does not get 4.667 right. GET added to it, which, yeah. by the way, is 20% when you look at how we compound it here. Yeah. So, and, and I would want the, the money that our legislators receive in donations, well, that they receive, period, from yeah. donations or otherwise, that should be Hawaii State generated to right. the core. Well, and you watch how they funnel it through some local yeah. businesses here. Yeah. You watch. And it, don't let that happen. Yeah, well, we have a lot of good things in place that will help monitor it. Okay, let's change change to something yeah. that's been cracking me up since Sunday. Lime Mother's bikes. Day. Lime bikes. And I don't know how many of you people know what lime bikes are. Easy or, for you or, to yeah, say. Yeah, <laughs> or, lime, or lime scooters, as they're known yeah. as. Is. Um, so on Mother's Day, this company... Um, and we'll bring up a slide. We have a picture of it. This company dropped 200 of these lime scooters around Kaka'ako, Waikiki, whatever. And they just showed up on the street. Yeah. Just, they were just there. And there's a mobile app that you can download that, will, uh, that allows you to use this bike, scooter, okay. as a mode yeah. of transportation. Yeah. And now, like, I never saw any announcements for this. I never saw... Um, I never saw the mayor out on the street hugging anybody or, any, you know, <laughs> or somebody or whatever. Um, I don't know if you can hug anymore. But anyway, so, but I never saw that. All of a sudden, they just started yeah. showing up. And I saw two or three of them in Kaka'ako. And I didn't know at the time. I had an idea what they were because Hawala Greedy, who was the guest last week, he had mentioned right. they're all over California and San Francisco. Yeah. And so anyway, boom, wasn't like uh, three days later. So they dropped 200 of these on the, on the streets, Kaka'ako, Waikiki, and in mm -hmm. those areas. And apparently, according and, and to what the, do they do, Gordon? So I, how, I, how I walk, work? I walk up to the, de, I walk, I, I have the the Lime app. I walk there up to the device. I key in my information. I unlock the device. It's not locked to anything, but electronically unlock the device. And uh, for a dollar and fifteen cents a minute, I scoot around wherever I want to go because it's, it's electric. Yeah. And I scoot okay. wherever I want to do. Then when I when I get my destination, I just leave it. I close out the app, and then I walk away. Yeah. And then the next person can come by and use it. Come by and pick it up and... Pick it up and use it. Now, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but anyway, it's kind of like, okay, it's another form of transportation, and our transportation system is so wonderful here, yeah. except for the bus, which is excellent. Um, but um, so I thought, well, these are kind of cool. Yeah. You know, from a technical standpoint, the idea concept, and everything shows up. And then I'm reading the paper, it's like, the police... police have confiscated or rounded up 80 of these bikes. 80 of them? 80 of them. Wow. Now, I have so no that's idea where they're putting them. That's like them. 20%. I oh, no, that's somebody, almost half. 40%? Yes, 40%. 40%. 40%. Yeah, 40 50 that's 40 percent of them were taken yeah. off, the, um, off the streets. Okay, okay. So that's based a on... fair number. Yeah, based on what? So I do a little bit more research. I found out that um, um, there may be two city council members who were approached about this and were told, this is a pretty good idea. And whoever the, uh, the I'm going to get the... Whoever uh, those perhaps might have been. Whoever those limeys are. <laughs> <laughs> slang term for English, uh, uh, for people from England. Um, um, whatever the lime persons are that put this in place, and my hat's off to you. I love courage, and I love, yeah. I love someone who just goes, thanks for Ray above here. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yeah. Um, but apparently a couple of city council yeah. members apparently said they thought it was a good idea. Um, I'm assuming they applied for the general excise tax license. I hope. And, well, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they did. Yeah. I, I'm assuming they did. Who knows? Um, but anyway, so now, now there's the question is, okay, what, what law are they violating? Yeah. What keeps, what, what allowed the so, police to, to confiscate 40%? So here's three, here's three of them that came up. Was, was it 
a peddling ordinance. And it has nothing, to, we don't have a bill on the books that doesn't allow you to not a pedal. A peddling ordinance. There's a peddling <laughs> ordinance. And the first time I read that, I went, wait, I, I can't use a bike that doesn't have pedals? Well, or is it just a different definition of peddling? Yeah. Peddling has to do with like selling t-shirts on the side. Yeah, there you, you know, go. Any of that, you, know, you can't sell yeah. products and services and things right. like that. on it. So You can't so peddle them. You can't peddle, but there's no one really peddling this. Yeah. So to speak, I decide whether or not I want to walk up and use it. There's no one telling me I should. There's no one, whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I, again, we're not lawyers, but I just right. love having this conversation. But is there something, we, can I just leave, where can I leave it? You, you can, well, according to the, um, just leave it where it's not obstructing traffic and leave it in a safe place. They got GPSs on well, them, so they know where they all yeah. are. They know what the yeah. battery charge level is. Oh, I well, see, yeah, that was a question, too, because if I'm going to get one, is it going to drop me somewhere? Yeah, will it drop me somewhere? So, so, so here's my next, the next ordinance. Okay, well, if it's not that, it's a sidewalk nuisance ordinance. Okay, give me a freaking break. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. The homeless yeah. situation we have here yeah. with uh, the sidewalk nuisance stuff. Have you looked at the homeless situation? Here's one that's really well, irritating me on Queen Emma Street. Queen Emma, right across from an elementary school, yeah. there must be at least 10 to 20 tents that have been there a month. Yeah. Right across. No, wait a minute. And we got a, across from an elementary school. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's theoretically, not, that's not a sidewalk nuisance school, ordinance? Yeah. And the elementary school is, I don't know what the right word is, but that's supposed to be like a free zone for our children. You're not that, supposed to be able to sell liquor within 500 feet without yeah. a special permit. I mean, and all yeah. the things, and, the, and who knows what's going on and, in that little tent yeah. encampment. And, and you can't even have, I, there was something, I, I believe it was in New Valley, where people were giving out, you know, religious tracts close to a elementary, not an elementary, but an intermediate school, yeah. things like that. Yeah, how does that happen? You know, the other thing, and this is a bit of an aside, but I know that the, the city and county just put millions of dollars into... Uh, Thomas Square. Yeah. And they said, yeah, we're going to, you know, it's gotten all run down and the homeless, et cetera, Well, that et cetera, was a reason to try and get rid of them. Yeah. Well, I, you know, on Sunday, I, I went by it and it's kind of opened back up again. And the mayor has said, you know, we've done all of this work and isn't it wonderful? And yeah. da, da, da. The tent, it's back. tent city are back in They're there. back. Okay, we got you one know? minute, so I got to move that. No, that's fine. No, we got one minute. So last one is abandoned property. Is it an abandoned property ordinance? I go back again. Okay, what's all yeah. this stuff on the sidewalks? Give me a break. Yeah. Um, uh, so what is it? It sounds like a great opportunity to have people, you know, move around the city from much freer, freer than much like the Bicky bikes were. Yeah, yeah. You know, here where we are, we don't have to, we don't, we can get out of our cars. We don't have a parking issue. We can, we can, we can move can around the around. city much better. And it's, yeah. it's got to be great for the business. I'm thinking we do Bicky bike hockey. <laughs> no, not, no, 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 line bike hockey. <laughs> line and bike we, hockey. And we all, we get them together, right? No, but it's can, so good for small businesses. That's right. Okay, uh, around. I know. Anyway, Kaka Ako. Yeah. Holy yeah. moly. Kaka Ako. Whole Foods has opened up. We can, yeah. I could, I could um, Beaky or um, Limey over to that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> anyway, this has been Rick's, the fun Meister, Gordo the Tech Star. We're just, pun we're not even pontificating. We're just like trying to figure yeah. all this stuff out yeah. um, on what's happening with sports betting and what's happening with the line bikes. We're going to get the, I'm going to yeah. go more in, into the line bikes and we're trying to get some of the, pro yeah. the people that are Maybe we'll have involved. some people have some people behind that come and talk come to and us. Come and talk to us on the show. Yeah. Anyway, this has been an absolute boatload of fun, as they always are. Um, watch Call us every us. Wednesday at 1 p.m. Hawaii time, and then you can pick, pick us up on YouTube from time to time. Yeah. Um, and Olelo, if they And like call us. in. Yeah. And call in. 808-374-2014. And like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How, How are you doing? doing? Ha <laughs> ha